Alright, what kind of error message? Ah, no error message. Great, because it's been telling me that there's no controller hooked up, even though there clearly is. <sighs> but what do you expect? It's my fucking brother's N64. Comedy Central, duh. And the claim! Lord of Unplayable License Games. And imagine my surprise when I found out that some of the people from Iguana Entertainment went to form this little place called Retro Studios and made this little game you might have heard about called Metroid Prime. Playing it again today, I still can't believe it. Yes, this is an awesomely funny intro, but as we saw with Three Stooges, awesomely funny intro does not an excellent game make. Not that this game is terrible, it's just, just mediocre, that's all. So I guess we can just sit here and watch the South Park intro pulled in N64 fight fashion. <sighs> Fifteen years, South Park has yet to get old. And its impact on our culture. Well, guys, chew on this for a minute. The other day in the library I noticed this magazine called The Journal of Popular Film and Television, or at least I think that's what it was called. And on the cover was not just South Park, it was from the, deep reaches the bikers space. from the F-Word episode approaches. while they were in a library. While, the okay, just two on that for a minute. And the article itself was about language, linguistics, changing the meaning of words, how words change over time, how the show tackles satire, its unique approach, just stuff like that. But it wasn't just any old article. All right, come on, come on, let's get started. Hey, what's happening? Dude, this is great! I wonder if there's a hack out there somewhere Whoa, where it's like he plays, like, Tool Shed, Coon, <laughs> Mysterion. <laughs> Let me at him! They put My Little Pony characters hey, in fucking cute. Sonic 3 Knuckles. I'm gonna show you how to kick ass! So... My mama told me I was cute. That's cause your mama there's a crack you whore, dumbass. Damn straight. All right. Now, as I was saying about that article, it wasn't just any old magazine article. It was written by a guy working on his doctorate in APA format, had cited sources over 30. Yes, it was one of those scholarly articles. So even people with doctorates and people working on their doctorates are dissecting this cartoon because they find a lot of value in it. They're curious about it. They see its impact on our culture and fucking turkeys. God damn it, that is so last century. Can we get some militantly atheist sea otters or crazed whale hunting Japs in here? Get with the times, baby. Alright, I got turkeys on my gaydar. Come here, come to me, you gay turkey homos. Yeah, that was another thing about the article. It's talking about when people use words like fag and the n-word. Yeah, I don't even have the balls to say it here. About, is it real? Is the hurtfulness of the word diminished when the user does not mean it as a homophobic and or racist slur? It was just an article exploring that. Hey, dummy, I'm over here. Uh, along with South Park in general. So, if you guys actually go to a library and do this little thing called reading, yeah, it's. What took you so long? It's, it's an interesting read, or maybe it's online. Hey. Yeah, but you're not here for this edumacation shit. You're here to watch first-person style action with four foul-mouthed hey, kids. So, get let's get back to that. Ah, yeah, just clobbering turkeys with snowballs, because why not? Die, fucking magic school bus. Fucking die. Or is that the bus from Vigilante 8? Eh, who gives a shit? And going on into the fog because programmers are using that the weather of South Park as an excuse to not have to draw too far. Kind of like Superman 64. What, what the fuck did, I've never played Superman 64. Whenever I see it at a pawn shop or some store that sells old games. Yeah, you tell them, Cartman. It's always too expensive, and I know it's not worth that much because it's such a pain. And I've never bothered with N64 emulation. Oh, look at the cute little bunny. And I'll kill you later. Yes, you can kill the poor innocent bunny. <sighs> Controls aren't the best. It's like, GoldenEye, this is... 
Well, then again, you uh, guys know I prefer Perfect Dark because I'm not a James Bond fan. <laughs> I did like Golden the movie, though. That's the whole reason I stood behind Green Lantern, even when it was getting bad reviews, because I had such respect for the director. Come on, die, 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 die! Yes, come to Cartman. We're not here all day, so just hurry up and die already. Yes, I was hunting wabbits. Hey, do I get hurt from this? I guess not. Yes, killing the cute little bunny, because why not? I'm on cookie guys for breakfast. Turkey for breakfast? I always thought you were, like, mothers were supposed to make, like, pancakes and shit. Okay, there's an IHOP joke in there somewhere, but, um, I'm too busy just fucking up turkeys. If you say so, but honestly, I'd rather be playing Halo, or Perfect Dark, or, you know, an RPG that's not super repetitive. I mean, a first-person shoe that's not super repetitive. Yeah, that's right. Later this year, we're supposed to be getting the ultimate South Park game. Yeah, I want cheesy poofs. Yeah, I want the cheesy poofs. A South Park RP... A speed power-up? I was kind of hoping for, oh, I don't know, a better weapon since this is a first-person shooter. A uh, uh, temporary speed boost, why not? You know, when I first heard about there being a South Park RPG... I was thinking, thanks guys, but I already have a South Park RPG. It's called Final Fantasy III. I just named the four Onion Kids after the four South Park Kids, and boom. So yeah, for a long time, I felt like I already had a South Park RPG in the form of Final Fantasy III, which I now have a pirate reproduction card of. Kind of how, like, since I know no one's going to put a serious effort into making a My Little Pony game, I got the Sonic 3 and Knuckles hacks. That, that pretty much will suffice. Ah, crap. Retreat. Back up. This is basically how, what you do the whole time with the turkeys, just back up and just... Okay, someone could really misinterpret or have fun with the way I just said back up. <sighs> so anyway, when I first heard about the South Park RPG, I wondered if Trey Parker and Matt Stone were the right guys ahead such a project. Yeah, they did one of the South Park Bioware sequels. Uh, the team they hired, Obsidian or something, but... <sighs> I don't know if Trey Mark... Trey Parker and Matt Stone would have the patience for that since... Just follow the arrows. Since they kind of do episodes in less than a week, that's how they were able to do the Obama-McCain episode so quickly. Speaking of politics... Okay, since it's an election year, there's a Democrat joke in there somewhere, but... Uh, let's just move on. So, yeah, but... Then I remember that Trey Parker and Matt Stone did Team America World Police and quickly learned how much patience you need when working with marionettes. So, with that in mind, I'm sure they're going to make a great game. We'll see later this year. Though, <sighs> I'm probably going to spend my money on Sly for Thieves in Time when that finally comes out. Yeah, up my trajectory some. Take him out from a distance. I... Wait, can I strafe? Yes! Fucking... I'm, not you guys with I'm so spoiled by Halo and, like, the modern PS3 Xbox controllers and shit. Forgot how to do this shit with an N64 controller. And how long have I been playing? Almost 10 minutes. I don't know how much longer I'm going to play this. Because it's really like this for another 10, 20 minutes. I don't know. I barely caught past the first level. And I got stuck on a boss in the second one. And I really wasn't motivated to play much farther. Yeah. It sucks. South Park and Family Guy. Their first video game forays were horribly mediocre. But they've stood the test of time. While Simpsons, which is not...
Yeah, Simpsons has not really stood the test of time. But Simpsons Hit and Run is just one of the best fucking games of its generation, of its console generation. And when I found out the Simpsons game that was released around the same time as the movie was done by Electronic Arts and not Vivienda Universal and Radical Entertainment, I boycotted it all together. Yeah, and that Family Guy game, the one for the old Xbox, PS2, and PSP, I, it was like, you play as Stewie, Brian, and Peter. And when I thought it was like, three different modes of gameplay and all the stories intertwine eventually, Kind of, kind of remind me of Sonic Adventure 2. Maybe you think it, maybe it'd be that quality. <sighs> yeah, right. The only good part about that game was the fight with the chicken. Yep, Ernie the Giant Chicken was the final boss. That was the only real fun I had with that game. Shit! They're flanking my position. Would be really kick-ass, Cartman, if I wasn't playing your game right now. And by the way, aren't you supposed to be the guide for the original character you play as in the South Park RPG? Try not to suck so hard, then, Cartman, because you know that whole thing releasing Cthulhu or whatever his name was, however you pronounce it, that wasn't exactly your finest moment. Yeah, I want cheesy poops. Ah, more cheesy poops. <laughs> A dodgeball. <sighs> okay, now that I got a shiny new weapon, I feel compelled to use it, even though I've been going on for 12 minutes. Yeah, jumping with the R button, because why not? Why not make one of the critical actions in a game on the fucking... <sighs> you know... Is there an on-screen... No... Wait, how do I switch weapons? Ah, there. Anyway, this has gone on for almost 13 minutes. I've pretty much shown you the crux of what the gameplay is about. And I've whined and bitched enough, so that's it. That's South Park for the N64. Second best animated program ever. One of the most mediocre games ever.